so many heartaches. I've had so many tears. I went down through the lifeline, down throughout the years. But I cried my last tear on yesterday. I want to let you know that's just how we made it. And the pressure of the cross of life, pressing in spite of, pressing because of, how you know because the world will always have our cross taught the mark of a higher pride which is in Christ Jesus. Yes, that's how we made it. We have a soul through the storm, and we sung the song until the sun shined again. I want you to know that every day is not going to be an easy day. Amen. But if you can have a song to get you through your day, you'll feel much better. I find myself oftentimes singing. I've been through the valley. I've been up to the holy road. I see dark clouds. So people have really heard me go. But Jesus was a friend who was consistent in every way. When Satan tried to destroy me, he came and he put him back in his place. That might not be your song. Maybe your song is just another day that the Lord has kept me. Maybe that's not your song. Maybe your song is take nobody. Do me like Jesus. Uh, maybe that's not your song. Uh, maybe your song is it's been a long uphill journey. But the Lord uh, has been by my side. Uh, is there anybody that had a song uh, through the storm? Uh, yes, that's how we made it. When others wouldn't, that's how we made it. Uh, going when others said no. Yes, that's how we made it. We should have died in that situation. Uh, but we stood still and we made it. Uh, we should have been doing life in some situations. Uh, but we alone escaped uh, and we made it. Uh, we could have been on uh, uh, our minds. Uh, but the God that we saw is the keeper of the saints. Uh, and the Bible tells me that he'll keep us in perfect peace uh, as long as we keep our mind uh, stayed on him. Uh, yes, that's how we made it. Uh, we were leaning and depending on the Lord. Uh, I hear the songwriter say, oh, I'm bound out. Uh, I can leave on oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, I'm bound out. Uh, I can leave on oh, the Lord. Uh, is there anybody in the building uh, that's yet leaning on oh, the Lord? Uh, I can tell somebody, yes, that's how we made it. Uh, we were living by faith. Uh, but the word of the Lord says that the just uh, Shall live by faith. Huh? Can't see how that we made it out. Huh? Can't feel a way out. Huh? But by faith, huh? through grace, huh? we alone escape. Huh? I can hear the angels of the Lord huh? talking to Job in the book of Job, huh? chapter number two. Huh? When all of the things were going wrong in Job's life, huh? how his children were killed, huh? and the angel came and said, I alone escape. Huh? of this man. When the land that he had was taken from him, another angel said, I alone escape to tell thee of this matter. When his body began to fail, his friends turned their back on him. Job ripped his clothes and said, the Lord gives and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Somebody say, yes, that's how we made it. How did we make it? We made it with our yes. The church of God is Christ. They tag that song. When the founder of the church said he was down in the grave. They thought that he was dead. Down in the grave. He was singing yes. And he just kept singing until the power fell down. Until somebody was passing and heard in the ground a song being sung. That's just like some of us today. It might look like you're down to nothing. But keep your song. It may look like there's no hope, but keep you a yes. Somebody shout yes. yes. That's how we made it. How did we make it? Through blood, that is important. That's how we made it. How did we make it? Through sweat, scars, and slipping. That's how we made it. How did we make it? We were confused. We were confined. And we were counted out. Is that anybody here been counted out? Or is it just me by myself? Anybody here been lied on? Or am I being here by myself? But look at you today. We made it. Eighty long years. Didn't know how we were going to afford it. But if God be for us, He's more than a word against us. How did we?
we make it, brother. We were fools and foolish, God. And yet we were feeble, huh? But we stood in that cup. Huh? Mother Murphy could have left this ship, huh? A long time ago, huh? Amen. But she had standing still power. Huh? And that's how we made it, huh? We made it, huh? When others walked away, huh? We stood still, huh? And counted up the cost, huh? And stood there, huh? And looked at the enemy as the issue, huh? And said, I will survive, huh? That's Destiny's child, huh? They said, I am survivor. I will not give up. Is there anybody in this place that refuses to give up? Understand we got three options. We can go back and be captured. We can stand still and die. Or we can move forward. Is there anybody in the building today that's going to move forward? My life may have been but because I'm still standing, I'm going to move forward. My family may have been but because I'm still here, I'm going to move forward. My church may have been, but because I'm alive, I decided that I'm going to move forward. Clap your hands if you made it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's been a lot of sleepless nights. Some people had more sleepless quiet nights than they had good sunshiny days. Amen. But we made it. We made it. We've been left. We've been talked about, been lied on, mm-hmm. been put to death by sisters of tongue, but Mother Murphy was still standing. Amen. Hallelujah. Eighty years later. Some ministries don't last eight months. That's right. Some don't last eight years. Sure. But we're still standing. Amen. We may not be the best at this or that, but if the Lord can use us, we're going to stand. Amen. Somebody say, I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand. If you're going to stand, clap your hands and stand in this place. Come on, clap your hands. It's been rough. It's been hard. It's been devastating. We've had some near-death experiences. Amen. And we're not talking about over the course of life. We're talking about just days ago. Some people don't know where the next check is coming from. Amen. Some people don't know where they're going, how they're going to pay that next bill. Well, and let me not say that. I don't know where the next check is coming from. Amen. I don't know how I'm going to pay that next bill. But my faith says all I have to do is live right. My word says that he will give you the desires of your heart. All we have to do is be faithful and love the Lord. Amen. Somebody say, I got a new testimony. I got a new testimony. From this day forward, I'm not looking at the past. I'm looking at what lies ahead. Understand we got three options. We can go back, be captured, and die. We can stand still and miss the promise. Or we can move forward. Anybody going forward? Amen. Anybody going forward? Amen. Now I want you to know just because you go forward don't mean you won't be tried, tested, and tested. Just because you're going forward don't mean that the devil is going to stop his many having a way. Amen. Just because you're going forward don't mean that it's going to be some sleepless nights and some tears that you still have to cry. Amen. Just because you're going forward does not mean that everything is going to go your way. But I'm sticking with going forward. Amen. The doors of the church are open. Maybe there's one today, two today, five today who want to give the Lord their life. You escaped and you have the testimony today. To say, I made it. I made it. I made it. It's been rough. It's been tough. I didn't understand. But just when I realized it, God was bringing me out of it. And I'm here today to confess my mouth and believe with my heart that God is able. Why don't you come? Come on, city, clap your hands. This is someone's greatest hour. This is the moment we, we wait for all service long. All the sick and the preaching is good, but when someone comes to the Lord, this is what we're waiting for. Come on, somebody, start praying. We want to make sure that when we get to the other side, that everybody we know Thank you. is on the other side with us. Yes. Wherever the other side is, that's where I want to be. I want to be in His presence. Thank you, Jesus. I want to be in the presence of the Lord. We're not coming to church just to be coming. We're not preaching and singing and dancing just to do it. 
but we're doing it so that we can work out our soul salvation. But we want our evangelism to be to the point where people will see us, make us see, to see us believable in us, so we can impress them to come to the Lord. Will there be one more today? We've been playing Russian roulette with our lives, taking challenges, but this is the day. If you lay down and die tonight in the street, will you see the Lord in the morning? Are you ready to meet Jehovah? Are we ready to see the Lord? Amen. Come on and clap your hands for the Lord. We see the Lord come. Yes, there is one that should be real, should not repent. Jacob should not lose his reward. Just because we discharge that part of our service does not mean you cannot join church. A lot Amen. of people are fearful coming this way. That's not what we're about. We want to ensure that you have the right hand of fellowship and we'll see the Lord. You can text 708-724-2129. You can use those smartphones, those Androids, and email us at fbhchicago at yahoo.com. Or when I sprint through this aisle, you can grab me and say, I want to make that change. Amen. Anybody believe in God? Amen. So.